everyone, Saxon564 here with a continuation of last week's redstone tutorial. Today I'll be going over how to make a suffocation trap. I've got the way I do it is more of a pitfall to suffocation. So, right here, walking around, you see a sign right here diamonds. Now, if we could make sandstone pressure plates. That would blend right in, nothing suspicious. You drop down, and pistons would suffocate you. Then, to gather the goodies you receive, you just come down here, open the door, go in, grab them, then come right back out. So, this is a fairly simple trap to make, but I'm... I'm going to show you how to make it. You need whatever block you want to make it out of, sandstone, dirt, whatever. Something that'll blend into the walls. Um, you'll want redstone, sticky pistons, a pressure plate, an iron door, and a lever. So I'm going to be building this entire thing above ground, and for that to work, set it up like this, with the pressure plate, actually use a stone pressure plate, that way it can't be set off by, just a sec here, there we go, that way it can't be set off by items laying on it. So we'll use the stone pressure plate. No longer need the pressure plate. Under that, we'll put some redstone wire. And then, let's quickly make the wall here. Alright, so we've got the wall. What we're going to do is... Okay, so we don't we destroy these two blocks. We're going to want those, but for now we're going to destroy it. We're going to put sticky pistons there, like that. So, then you'd mine your way up to come come around. Um, right above the pistons, like, going up, up it like this would work. I usually go all the way around it, so, and then go from here and then push or put repeaters right behind the pistons. It's, a, it's up to you. But then you, so then... We get the redstone down here. And let's test it here. Okay. Now that that works, you just cover it up like that. Um. Make the door there. So uh, you place the door like that. And there you are. Now you've got the trap set up. You put it however deep you want. I would I think that this is a good depth of 6 blocks I think. Um 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight or nine blocks that way the that way they don't die upon impact and all of that is pretty much useless then so um 
Let's show you how it works then. Okay, there we are. Okay, so you fall down. You take two hearts of damage from landing. And then the pistons slowly kill you. You can't move. Um, if you've got a pickaxe, you can destroy it. You can destroy the pistons, but I wouldn't suggest that. I, if you're going to have that, then if you're going to have something like that, then I suggest um, just a sec here. I suggest using a bet, um, a diamond block. Diamond blocks are the strongest, but if you could use obsidian, I'd say to use obsidian. But unfortunately, pistons can't push obsidian. So use it however you want. Um, trap your friends in it. T Tell them you've got some diamonds down there, and you need them to go get it for you because you, you've got to go somewhere else and do something. Whatever. It's just a nifty, tr easy, small trap. A lot of fun to watch people fall for. Um, I'll be posting another one next next week. It's, go it's going to be, be a bit harder, and I might have to introduce some new concepts to you guys. We'll see about that. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what I did right, what I didn't do right. And yeah.